Hey guys, Kat here, and welcome back to Murdered Soul Suspect. The last we played this game, um, the witness kind of did not like us talking to her, and she told us to leave her alone, so, I mean, what better to do than to track her down and try to find her, so that is what we're going to do. Exit the attic, so I probably have to possess you. I probably have to. Is there anything for me to like? Okay. Is there any open windows? Is there any open anything? Is that? That one work? Okay. No, I take that back. I can go through here, right? Hey, what's that? It's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> Six more to uncover the story. The bell tower banshee. The heck does that mean? around I just see a portal hi I don't like how they disappear when I come near them I'm just like hmm okay so how do I get out how do I how do I get out of here oh. demons we got demons uh, the fittest of spirits can fall prey to these dangers. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Yeah, demons. We got demons. Is that on the other side of that? I think there's not any demons. me is what they're gonna do. What the hell? I can't go through the door? There's gotta be a way out. <laughs> okay. That's what happens. Interesting. So, is that window open? Okay, that window is open. So I can be you. Okay, interesting. So I can be I can be the kitty again. So cute. Okay, so where did she go? You're a demon. That's for damn sure. We're probably better off at home with the doors locked. Oh, is it in the house? No, that's just the thing. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to possess the little one again. Cause I can't get through the doorways. I gotta find a way out. But I need to find a way out of this place, particularly. <laughs> Get out though. Wait! Okay. Come back! Leaving so soon, dear? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, Amateur. She's rude. How do I get over that? How do I make him? How do I? Dang, that's a lot of spirits. How do I get him over here? I gotta manipulate him somehow. Oh, I, I, I gotta turn the. Oh, that's cool. I gotta turn the vacuum cleaner on. I'm gonna possess you, father. Turn that off. Well, I'll be. What's gotten into you? 
he Scottish? Irish? He sounds one of the two. You're not going to turn it off? You're just going to leave it on? Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, poop. Oh! Okay. Uh, some objects can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Using the raven to losing the ravens to distract the demons is often useful. Um, can I please? Hunting for demons can help you get closer to distraction objects. Distract the demon? Uh, you must approach the demon from behind if you want to execute it. Holding right trigger uh, will attempt an execution. <laughs> Did that not work for the other one? What the hell? Oh! Are <laughs> <laughs> there any more? Is that all? Thank you, Birdie. Oh my god, that scared the poop out of me, honestly. I'm used to pressing B to run for, um, Vampire. So I'm like holding B the whole time. Damn it. Now what? Okay. Get in. Jesus. <laughs> You're sweet. So, where'd she go, huh? Uh. <laughs> Just ask her, man. Uh, what clue would you do, would tell me where she's headed? This one? Yeah, I think this one. Her mother's note implied the witness should get... Her bell killer case book from the station. Leave now, find my book at the station. Don't look back. We're not safe anymore. I'll try to find you before I... That one. Leave now, find my book at the station, and I don't look back. I told her I'd help. Kitty, can I use you? Yeah. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. Blending well there. Do you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. <laughs> Love how I'm still smoking a cigarette. It's a ghost cigarette now. I've been smoking a ghost cigarette. Wow. Time to head back to the station. Jesus, I gotta get all the way over there? Okay, good. This must be like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm about to be like... <laughs> witness destination. Uh, the witness is headed to the police station to track down her mother's book. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, the priest told her she could stay in the attic. Where would that be? Uh, the bell killer was probably looking for the witness's mother. Why would she be a target? Uh, the witness didn't know the killer. Uh, who do I know that would want me dead? The witness's mother has been missing for a few days, and she has no idea where to find her. Her mother's note implied the witness should get her bell killer case book from the station. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. We're not safe anymore. I'll try to find you before I go. Mom. Uh, the witness ran away from home to make it difficult for needy ghosts to find her. 
Uh, the witness's powerful scream disoriented me. How is that possible? Okay, I'm safe. It's a good fast travel, I'll tell you that. What's she doing here again? Why is she crying again? Hello? I thought I helped you out already. Already, I'm hitting X. Uh, okay, I already helped her then, I guess. I don't like there's there's a lot of hide symbols or hide places. guys what's up face it Baxter hated the guy I think the hate was pretty mutual Ronan was a little rough around the edges but Baxter he isn't exactly mr. Cuddly well yeah yeah but you don't think he'd I mean a fellow cop or anybody I don't know man In this job I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of Uh, cops on Earth Baxter hated Ronan, Ronan enough to kill him. Probably. Of course he did. Harassed by Baxter? A rough day at work for my man. It took a while for him to be able to talk about it, but this Baxter fellow seems to be completely hostile towards Ronan, and there's nothing he can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan has never done anything to offend him, but Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was, and there's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. What an ass. He just needs to die. I'm fine with that. I'll... I'll help. Today, everything died for me. What? Thinking about it, it's so surreal, I instantly have... An out-of-body experience every time, seeing myself at that moment after she tried to break up an argument between two men on the street, two strangers to her, one of which would stab her for no reason at all. She died for for trying to help, and the asshole got away. If I'd arrived to meet her just one minute earlier, my life would have been different. Better, and she wouldn't have been gone. Ah, uh, What the hell? That's sad. Man, I don't like that. It's really sad. Okay, the police station is this way, right? Yeah, it looks to be that way. What's that? Ronan pops the question. Aw, today he asked and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him, I love him, but when he asked to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything. Like, my voice was frozen. And he just knelt there, my silence crushing him, and then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think. But have I blown it now? Oh. Did I pass another one? Yeah, I did. I figured I did. Is this gonna pull up something like scary for me? I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. feels guilty for leading Ronan to a life of police work. But aren't you like my brother, dude? Or no, you're her brother. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan had all that bad boy swagger and I admit I liked it. But what I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but it, was, it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. It's hard to believe a cop got killed tonight. This is all happening tonight, huh? Can't possess her. What's that game? The one with the woman who raids tombs. There's a game with the woman that raids tombs? What's that? I keep forgetting I can go through fences, so I'm like. Being a weirdo. Everything in the shadows makes me jump. Boo. Boo. There are so many notes around here. Ooh. 
Uh, Salem police has still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Uh, community speculation is increasing that this is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the, con the consistent thread is the strange bell-shaped symbol found at many of the these crime scenes. No one has even the uh, remotest theory of the meaning of the symbol, but this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. There's another one over here. Yes, there was. Yes, right over here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff around here. Rona's childhood. Uh, Rona's parents really sound unstable. It must have been really difficult for him growing up and feeling pressure to follow the unstable criminal paths his parents walked. And now he's my diamond in the rough. Uh, such a sweet soul and strong enough to keep its sweetness with everything his parents put him through. It's rare someone with a legitimate reason to be frustrated with his parents and the way they raised him never once complained about it. He's such a better person than anyone realizes. Well, that one dude thinks I'm like a hardened criminal and I'm not. Irritating. I knew there'd be more over here. Douglas family photo. Uh, she would never kill herself. She was happy with her life. Had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. They must have. Heard that. I don't know where that came from. I'm gonna find more of those historical blacks. Said nobody ever. What if he's never caught? Does he just keep going? Probably. I mean, wouldn't most murderers keep going if they could? Hey man, what's up? I didn't know you were a ghost. Hey, buddy. You on the clock or something? I was. I, uh, worked here ten years. Until I couldn't take it anymore. And ate a gun. Some secrets are... just too heavy to carry. What exactly did you do? Some... landscaping? Mostly grave digging. Pretty much everything you'd expect a groundskeeper to do. You know that's not what I meant. Look... You were once a detective, and I was once a, a humble groundskeeper. Let's just leave it at that. Fine by me, I was just trying to help. I said, let's leave it at that. All right, douche. There's so many ghosts around here. I can't believe this. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? How did she die? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. All right. I'll look into it. It doesn't take a detective to see that the woman is heartbroken. I should try to figure out if her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. I still don't know why she killed herself. Everything seemed great. That's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Wow! Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. What a dick! <laughs> to use that one. Rude. Oh, that, that's rude. I wonder if he still thinks of her. Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. 
I didn't expect to fall in love with him. Weird how things work out. Huh. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. Well, um... Let me go pick up this note real fast. Ashland Hills Cemetery plaque? Uh, the Ashland Hills Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery significantly, one of which the cemetery its name... Wait. One of which gave the cemetery its name in 1665, a shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery, waiting to die. <laughs> when they did, their bodies were buried, and their ashes buried in the grave site. The, their bodies were burned, and their ashes buried in the graveyard was henceforth known as Ashland Hills. Is this real? Is that why everything's on fire over there? Oh, the order, the events in order. Okay, got it. It seems this was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll find out, sir. The good news is, he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is, your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish... I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. Yay! Okay, we got another person going. Awesome. I swear I hear demons. Freaky. I want to walk through there to see what's going on, though. Can I walk in here? Not. Oh, I can't. I forgot. Jumbo prongs. Sounds good. Fresh clams. Sounds good. What's up, guys? You go. Oh, I thought they were ghosts. I'm an idiot. I literally just talked to them, or they literally just listened to what they had to say. Okay, so we went off path a little bit, but we still did what it was that we needed to do. Oh, I can't go through that wall. Excuse me. Oh, hey, there's something over here. Why are we doing that? Lagging a little bit here and there. Hello. Hey. Is there something over here? There is, I think. No? 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 Oh, there is. Ha ha. Hi, sweetie. What's she doing? So damn cute. Oh. Why would I need to be you? You're so cute. Okay. Let me just go to the... Whatever and get it over with. Who's that? Salem feels dangerous? Uh, Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city. But it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night here anymore. I talked with Ronan about it, and he tries to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in town. Uh, but the bravado doesn't help much. Uh, something is sick about these people, or is sick about this place. 
stuff here. I really like the whole, like, uncover, cover type, like, thing that it has, the mechanic. It's pretty cool. I still don't know what this means, though. A football. Oh, oh, hello. I saw... No. No, couldn't have been. They saw what? A ghost. Stay in well-lit places. Should be okay. You saw a g -g -g ghost. I can't get through this wall, can I? Dang it. Come down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Brad. Good. Now, that guy just walked through... Happened. Oh, I forgot this was like ghost realm. Well, I don't know. We're out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three oh. turned into... Who knows how many? Details are hazy. I, uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when. Oh God! I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. That same guy's been walking through what the wall like I twice, done? three times now. Gotcha, don't worry, I'll look, I'll look into it. I, I, ain't got no, I ain't got nothing else, else better to do. Some bottle of scotch whiskey. Broken bottle of Brad's favorite whiskey, not a good sign. Wait, what'd that say? Uh, it's not much to go on, but this brutal car crash might have some evidence that points to what happened that night. <laughs> It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here, I should... An SOC gas receipt from the night of the accident. It's a long shot, but I should check that Get area. Out. What way? Where is that area? Arm... History plaque. On this spot stood a fortification that uh, contained the armaments, armaments store uh, sought by British soldiers on February 26, 1775. The brave citizens of this town kept the British army at bay by the strategic use of drawbridges, uh, thereby preventing the seizure of critical weapons for the war that would begin only months later. Interesting. I don't like those people just standing there. Where's the gas station located? SOC gas station? I should go home now. They look like the same people that were somewhere else, but there is a gas station. I don't know that there is a gas station. I'm sorry this kind of went into saving people. But I kind of like doing that while I'm here. Salem gas station look like? There's the bank. Uh, that's not a gas station. Okay, none of this looks like a gas station. It wouldn't. <laughs> What's the thing on the receipt? Demons. Ghost abilities. But there's no 
But I was gonna check the gas station. Where is there a gas station for me to check? He said, I guess I should look at that, and there was a, a thing on the receipt. Like a location on the receipt, I'm pretty sure. cut on the inside of my lip and it burns every time I touch it. Like bad. Like a bad burn. Is there anything around in here? I didn't inspect it that though. SOC gas station. Where is that located? Further this way? There's the gas station. WTF bro. Feeling <laughs> I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Uh, Laura was in the middle of filling up uh, when she heard that loud noise and cut short. Okay. She's vomiting, retching. Uh, Rick may have been drunk off his ass, but still something startled him. Don't tell me that's train tracks. Brad. Yeah, Cap. <laughs> I mean, Cap. What? Oh. Uh. Gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. Great. Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared him off before they could arrive. Train? Freaking train? Looks like train tracks. Need three of five clues to figure out what the hell happened. Maybe if we walk a little faster. than a week. Should last another year. <laughs> nice. If we find somebody that knew what happened, that looks like them, ish. If cops aren't safe, who is safe? That looks like them. Is that them? She's wearing the same clothes. Oh, shit, it is them. In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Well, which is... What's it feel like to die? Looks like her. I mean, I'm just saying, it looks kind of like her. Okay, three or five clues, so I gotta find a clue around here somewhere. With it, then there's the rest of the clues are down here. Then it's a train track. Are we not gonna talk about that? Talk about how to walk through a damn car. So only other clues would be in this vicinity. No, not around here. Well, what the heck, man? So... What are the things that scared him off? I know you're pumping gas. Okay, I'm looking down. There's train tracks right here, which is what I can't understand why I can't.
They'll hear a loud bang that scared them off if I could just figure out what they heard. Back where the other car is. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna be back to where. Not going in there. They went over a wall? Both spooked by a bang. Spooked by a bang. Hmm. E red. This must be Brad's car. Uh, the car is vanity plate. There's no doubt that this is Brad's car. It's not looking good. Okay, well, um, you're dead. Your friends are dead. And, uh, you're dead. Just kidding. Um, they hit a tree? There's a damn tree? Why can't I inspect the car? That's the one thing I'm like, it's a car. Can I not look at it? Who was driving? He was. So. Eleven. Wait. Wait. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm missing three more. Here that would spook them. Did this guy tell me anything? The real witches didn't have those hats. Nice. Okay, so what did I? Okay. Did this thing scare? Did somebody shoot off a cannon blast and? Get a piss out of some of them? Is that what happened? I don't like that it's not like. Usually it's around where it happened. I don't like that it's sending me on like a, an adventure. To find it, where was the pop that scared them? I swear it had something to do with the train, not gonna lie. Uh, the SOE is commonly believed to stand for Salem Oil Company. However, no such company exists. The initials actually stand for Sons of Charlie. The legal name is a service station established by three brothers, Chuck, Charlie, uh, Charles Jr., uh, Sean, and Seamus O'Leary. In 1928, when automobiles started to become common, the business nearly did not survive the Great Depression, but managed to keep itself alive as a front for legal, for illegal alcohol sales during the Prohibition. train on the other side of it? Because if there's a train on the other side of it, I can totally find out what that pop was. I don't know why I keep walking around this stupid stuff. Wow. Okay, so what the crap? Why can't I? Good lord. Fountain dedicated to the hope that this quiet town of Salem will be known for peace and yeah okay known for peace all right for peace and wishes that's what that's known for not going that way okay we not going that way then that way either. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta finish this thing while I can. Unfortunately, we haven't made any arrests. We don't have any suspects. That's why we strongly encourage the people of Salem to contact the police with any possible leads. This is going to take the cooperation of the entire community. Is this what it looks like it's saying? There's a dented trash can somewhere. Is that it? There's blood. 
trash can. Ugh. It's really an empty trash can. Someone either, someone's either a bad driver in a hurry or maybe drunk. Hmm. Okay. Paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So, Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. So did he get, like, thrown out of it? The cashier remembers a female driver that can only mean one thing. So, depossess you. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna talk to this guy. And then I'm more than likely gonna have to leave this episode here given the time that I'm at. But hey, at least we may or may not have saved another soul. Okay. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait! I remember stopping to, uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. Yeah. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. Yay! Awesome. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, next episode, I promise we will get into the, um, who was drunk? Who was driving? I already figured it out. Uh, next episode, I promise I will get to the police station and we will further progress into the story. But I had to help him, you know. Um, so anyways, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend. Maybe we can get more subscribers and we can just be one happy community. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!